Well, it seems according to this article that was published on the 28th of February 2013 on the HuffPost Tech, that we have some astronomers who have discovered the origin of the Russian meteorites. And they're saying that they've traced it back to this deadly Apollo asteroid cluster. So the article goes on to say, a team of astronomers have tracked down the origin of a meteorite which injured more than a thousand people in Russia. The rock smashed into Lake Chibakul near Ural Mountains and the city of Chelyabinsk, smashing windows and causing havoc as it ripped through the sky. But its passage was also captured in astonishing detail and clarity, largely thanks to the Russian trend to have a CCT camera installed in cars. Using this footage, a team from Colombia have managed to work out where it came from, not only the direction in the sky, but also its orbit around the sun. George Saluga and Ignacio Ferran said that they used relatively basic physics and maths to work out how fast the rock fell and in which direction. From there, they were able to build a picture of its trajectory in space in an elliptical orbit around the sun and traced its origin back to the Apollo asteroid cluster. Rocks from that region regularly cross Earth's orbit. Of the 9,700 near-Earth space rocks discovered by astronomers, and that's actually incorrect because it's amateur astronomers that discover pretty much 90% of all these near-Earth objects, but it goes on to say that more than 5,000 of these space rocks originate from this region. Unfortunately, this likely means that it won't be the last threatening space rock to pass nearby. In fact, it's certain that more will strike the Earth relatively soon in cosmic terms. The team said, in order to account for the uncertainties implicit in the determination of the trajectory of the body in the atmosphere, we use Monte Carlo methods to calculate the most probable orbital parameters. We use this result to classify the meteoroid among the near-Earth asteroid families, finding that the parent body belonged to the Apollo asteroids. Although semi-major axis and inclination of the preliminary orbit computed by us are uncertain, the rest of the orbital elements are well constrained in this preliminary reconstruction. So I find that interesting that they're saying that this is traced back to this deadly Apollo asteroid cluster and that we could experience more of these incoming objects. Now, my thoughts are, yes, we are definitely experiencing more of these incoming objects and we're going to see them increase. I think this is really only the beginning of what we are about to experience due to where we are in the cosmos. We're moving into a very energised part of space, a very active part of space. And if you have a look at a lot of these graphics that show these near-Earth objects, you can definitely see that the traffic has increased. Now, one of the only reasons that I think we did definitely know that this was a meteorite that hit Russia was that there were so many people filming this event. Because if they can get away with not reporting on these meteorites, then they will not report on these meteorites. I also found it really interesting that within a day, there was a hoax video circulating showing some kind of missile or object hitting this meteorite. Now, this video was very professionally done. So my thoughts are that there is a definite agenda out there for the powers that be to give us a sense of security, that they can handle what's coming and they just need to shoot them 
out of the sky and uh, keep us safe. Now, one, there is no weapon that they own anywhere on this planet that can actually target and shoot down a meteor. It's just not a possibility. And, you know, I think that by probably thinking in that way, we really aren't benefiting ourselves because we're not preparing. We're actually thinking that, don't worry, they've got it handled. We can just continue on and, you know, it's all going to be okay. Now, I'm not saying it's not going to be okay. What I am saying is we should use these events as something to basically give us a understanding of what we may experience in the future and then prepare accordingly. You know, if it eventuates to nothing, then we have a surplus of food and water and supplies. But if in fact this does play out and we start seeing these events happen more often, then we really are going to leave ourselves at a disadvantage if we rely on the power elite and the powers that be because they are not there to help us. They are there to just help themselves. They are there, you know, only to give us the illusion that they care while they basically screw us and do whatever it takes to stay in power. So anyway, I thought this was a really interesting article. Um, I will link it underneath. And, uh, I mean, I don't know about the science, you know, they're using flat earth physics, so I don't know how they can determine that it comes from this area, but I do find it interesting that this information is actually starting to surface and that there is a push to perhaps allow us some understanding that we may not see the end of these incoming objects anytime soon. So um, I will link the article underneath the video as always and uh, of course, peace out.